Hi guys, this is your friend Ashish from Praying with Ashish Anani and today I want to speak to you about this very big question that you must have or you might have wondered in your life What happens when we die? So 3 days back, 4 days back when you watch this video I heard the news of uh, a great actor Irfan Khan passing away I heard about Rishi Kapoor passing away and just like that you have heard about a lot of people in your life passing away so I was wondering, I've read a lot about it, but these moments make you ponder and wonder again what happens when we die. So when Irfan Khan died, you know, his entire his entire brand died with him because there's no more Irfan Khan. Just the same for other celebrities and for you and for me. So what happens? You know, your entire life kind of dies away. I'm not talking about what you leave behind, but your life has ended. What happens at that particular moment? Here is my best understanding and best answer about it. Nobody has seen death but from studies that I have seen, books that I have read about doctors and patients who have been in situations where they have experienced death or somebody experiencing death in front of them. For example, somebody being called dead and then they coming back to life there is that little moment there are few seconds when you can actually die and come back to life so what happens in that particular moment is what people share and i'm going to give you my input at the end of it from my understanding of it when you die everything about your consciousness you know what you can feel dies it's exactly like sleeping when you're sleeping and when you're in a deep sleep you really don't remember anything and when you wake up, it's, it's the reason it takes you time to get up is because you were dead consciously while you were sleeping. And when you wake up, it takes time for your spirit to come back to this body and feel it again. So when we die, this entire consciousness that you worry about, the material things that you worry about, uh, you know, people liking your post that you worried about, all that dies off. So it's not really that important. It's just important right now when you are conscious about it. But what you die with is what you were thinking and how you led your life. So just compare this to your dreams. If you go to sleep today, there are certain thoughts that you have in your mind. And when you wake up, you don't remember them. But when you were in that dream, you really felt if you were living that. Which is why they say your subconscious mind matters. So my best understanding after reading books, listening to these patient case studies and personal opinion, combining all this research, sensing it is that when we die, it's the collection of our thoughts that lives without a body. It's like a sleep where time does not exist and you continue to live in that peace because when you are in deep sleep, Nothing bothers you, you don't feel any pain, which is why they say that death is very, very peaceful. So you get to peace with those thoughts that you lived your life with or things that were going on in your mind and that stay forever till you, your spirit decides to come back to the next life, which is another topic. But it is proven in a lot of cases that your spirit has a journey of different lives and it decides to come back in a particular body, in a particular situation for its next spiritual journey. Which is why sometimes people have a deja vu because that subconscious becomes so powerful that when it's in your new life, in a particular body, it sees something that it's already seen because it was existent in the subconscious. So there, here's a little background of you know what can happen to you when you die. And in summary, it's a very peaceful experience. But what really matters is how and what are you thinking in your subconscious mind because that is what you will live with after death. I hope you got some insights into it. Stay healthy during the lockdown and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.